Storm Hunters brought to you by Nikon is about to begin, but let's get into some of our top stories that we're looking at right now. We are tracking a system that is making its way through southwestern Ontario in London right now. It will hit the GTA by 8, 9 o'clock this evening. And then tomorrow is going to be the coldest day of the weekend. Moving into the prairies while well, this Arctic air is actually cooling things down. It's very, very cold. With that is flurries. So again, hopefully you have your winter tires on right now. In the Atlantic, it's going to be raining this weekend in St. John's. We'll get back to the conclusion of Storm Hunters brought to you by Nikon in just a little bit. Let's take a couple of minutes to get into our weather. In the Atlantic, there is a system heavy rain at times through Sydney and Halifax Sunday and then Newfoundland by Sunday all day. So hopefully you have that umbrella. Moving into Ontario, there is a system that's making its way through rain in the south, but Orange Bell, Barrie, you might see some snow. The higher elevations you get, we'll see some of that accumulation. So BC, you are dry but completely different story in the prairies you are very very cold so well, thank you so much though for sending that in we love to see your videos and photos so go to at Sonia Sasher at weather network let's get into the Atlantic so yes we have a system that is making its way through there is a high right now keeping you nice and warm but take a look it's creeping up and it's going to literally bring its way through uh, Sydney and Nova Scotia by Sunday uh, morning into the afternoon. So bring your umbrella, pack your patience. What does that look like in terms of accumulation of rain? Well, Sydney, you could see up to 20 millimeters of rain. And again, Nova Scotia, you could see up to 25 millimeters of rain. Let's take a look at Quebec right now for the last couple of days, but let's take a look at the system right now. So yes, we are tracking when it is in Southern Ontario, London, and it will make its way through into the GTA. It does move into Ottawa as well by Sunday evening. It is a fast moving system. So by Sunday evening, dry. However, let's take a look at what this means in terms of snowfall accumulation. Yes, snow, especially for the northern part, so cottage country. Sudbury, you could see up to five centimeters and even Orangeville, uh, higher elevated areas could see some snow. So hopefully you have your snow tires on, but to the south, it's going to be mainly precipitation in terms of rainfall. So up to five mil five to 10 millimeters of rain going into Niagara, Toronto, we could see up to five. So again, significant. I do wanna show you the seven day because yes, this is where the low really impacts us again on Monday. But then by Wednesday, Thursday, take a look at Thursday, there is another system that is really making things very, very cold for, for you in this area. So hopefully you have your snow tires on, drive safely, because we could see some snow through Thursday. But let's take a look at the prairies right now. So Alberta scattered to light flurries widespread across the prairies through the weekend. We could see some accumulation up to five millimeters of snow. Take a look at that. Goodness gracious. So that's where we're going to see that. And there is going to be some rain snow mix as well. So in terms of accumulation, well, we could see, you know, up to 15 centimeters in some areas. But let's take a look at this over the next little while. Um, it's going to be, again, nation and nation, it's going to be completely different. BC is going to be dry and Atlantic is going to be very wet. But your locals are right now. Yes, you've seen some very cold temperatures. Hi there, I am Sonia Sash. Let's get into our top stories. Let's focus on BC. So let's take a look right now. See this ridge? So it is really uh, impacting this entire region and it is really saving you from any precipitation. Absolutely, but it's a completely different story in Alberta and the prairies. We're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. But for BC, as I mentioned, it is going to be very dry over the next couple of days. There will be some uh, showers the further north that you go, but nothing too significant. Just uh, maybe up to 30 millimeters of rain is possible. But again, otherwise Vancouver, lower mainland, you are going to be dry. Completely different story. As we take a look at the prairies, there is a system that's making its way through, really cooling things down. Ontario, my goodness, again, that's happening over the next couple of days in uh, over the weekend. So it's going to be dry on Sunday. It's going to be the coldest we've seen on Sunday. But let's get back to the prairies. Snowfall 
Again, up to 15 centimeters of snow can be seen in the foothills and then in Calgary, Alberta. Edmonton, you might see maybe a sprinkle or two over the weekend. This is not including, though, another system that is going to impact you going into Sunday in the evening. But a boat wreck in the Niagara River that has been sitting there for over a hundred years moved over the Halloween weekend. Here's Matt with more on that. I realize how impactful wind can be, but it definitely is. Hi there, I am Sonia Sash. Let us, let's get into our top stories. Let's start with Ontario. There is a system that we are tracking that is making its way east and it will impact us over the weekend. Tomorrow, Sunday is going to be the coldest day of the weekend so really bundle up we might see some showers we might see some snow the north part will see the snow but here's where we're going to see the the millimeters of rain niagara falls and toronto just under five millimeters of rain but the further north we go or even Orangeville, Barry, we're going to see some of that snow accumulation and this is what it's going to look like up to five centimeters could be seen but the further north that we go, the more snow accumulation that we will see over the weekend. So again, drive safely. But I do want to show you this seven day because we have another system that impacts the GTA that is on Thursday. And um, it's going to bring with it again, some mix of rain and snow. So hopefully you have your winter tires on. But Matt talks about the wettest month in Montreal. Here's a look at that. It is time to fall back, but here are some things to remember. Here's Kim McDonald. Can you imagine <laughs> that crack? But thankfully that didn't happen. Hi there, I am Sonia Sash. Let's get into our top stories. BC, so we have seen this high pressure system that has really kept BC, the lower mainland of Vancouver, very, very dry, unseasonably so. However, in saying that, the moisture will find its way and is finding its way into the prairies. It has nowhere else to go but there. So again, um, BC, you are going to be very, very dry, especially in the lower mainland area. Maybe some precipitation the further north we go. Prince George, you might see up to 20 millimeters of rain this weekend, but for the most part, it's gonna be very, very dry. Take a look at that. This is, again, is where the moisture seeps in and the foothills, Alberta. You could be seeing a lot of snow up to 15 centimeters this weekend. This is not including Monday. So you're gonna see more of that snowfall going into Monday. Um, and so those totals will be a lot higher. There is a system that we are looking at in Southern Ontario making its way through. So tomorrow is going to be one of the coldest days of the weekend. Uh, so bundle up, but then after that, it's gonna be quite nice, but then the, um, the temperatures will drop again. But let's take a look at the snowfall accumulation. Yes, we are gonna see that, especially around the lake. Um, we're gonna see some of those totals, even Barrie and Orangeville will see that as well, but mostly rain. But a boat wreck in Niagara River that has been there for over 100 years has moved. Here's Matt on that. Definitely contain this fire. We have a story that you won't want to miss coming up in literally one minute. But let's get into our top stories. In Ontario, there is a system that is making its way through to the north. We're going to see some uh, snow accumulation and take a look at that. So some areas could see up to three centimeters. But even Orangeville, you could see just under five centimeters of snow. So hopefully you have your winter tires on, but otherwise, you know, just some rain. London, you could see up to 10 millimeters of rain. Toronto, just under five millimeters. But I do wanna show you Thursday. So things are relatively warm until Thursday, and then a modified air uh, comes through and really cools things down, and we can see some snow. Atlantic, it's gonna be soggy by Sunday, but let's get back to the fire crews in California. Here's a look at how people are really appreciating appreciating all that they do for us. A large manatee was found stuck in sand in Savannah, Georgia. Take a look at that poor thing. It seems that its species are swimming in territories it once never did. And the reason is because of the climate change impacting the sea temperatures, really warming that up. So again, it's putting the manatee and its species at risk. For more on this story, visit theweathernetwork.com. And just move over these 
these borders and what have you. I am Sonia Sash. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into our top stories. Well, BC, there is a high that is really keeping you nice and dry. You've seen that over the last week and that will continue. So all of the lower mainland Vancouver, you're going to be dry. But as we get into the northern parts, that's where we're going to see some precipitation. Now, because that high is contained and containing that dry weather, that moisture needs to go somewhere. And so it is actually uh, dipping down into the prairie so it will impact the foothills and of course Alberta so you could see up to 15 centimeters of snow in certain areas but let's take a look at your next seven days in BC the uh, moisture does come back on Thursday so that high does dissipate by that time but until Wednesday you are going to be dry completely different story here in Calgary let's take a look at that so Yes, there's scattered showers off and on Calgary uh, rain snow mix, but definitely you're going to see, especially in the foothills, as we saw previously, some snow and even in Saskatoon by Sunday going into Sunday evening. So hopefully you have your snow tires on in terms of accumulation. Well, Regina, you could see up to five centimeters of snow and in certain areas you could see up to, you know, three centimeters of snow. So not so significant, but definitely you want to be mindful as you are driving because it will impact your visibility. But the effects of time chains, yes, we are falling back. Things that we don't really realize. Here's Rachel with more on that.